Hello everyone. Oh wow, well, I actually did see a person there. Wow. Of course I saw him before I did. Um got a dirty windshield um we are out to do what i am dubbing our crazy hill test to make it simple and easy to explain which test it is it is going to be called the crazy hill test um as you can see if you haven't seen this before i will have a playlist link below and you can see the two previous attempts at this hill the two previous attempts to say the least full cell driving um miserably failed um, I did not get a chance to do it with version 10. This is version 10.01. And so we're going to do that. This is Friday, button day, uh, as we're going to dub it. And we're going to see how well it does uh, after, with the next version as well. Uh, I'm going to try and do every version and see what type of improvements we're going to see. As you can see, the GPS bug is still kind of here. We're going to see if it slows down and correctly turns onto this road here. Kind of turn the blinker on. There he goes. So again, I'm going to manually turn down the speed because I don't trust the car to go very fast down this. Does not need a blinker here. Looks like a tree fell since the last time we came through here. That was really close to the edge. I'm going to again bring up the camera here so you can see the edge. You have already seen, yeah, we're on the wrong side of the road. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn it down to 15. Because until the car feels a lot more confident, I'm going to keep the speed lower. It does seem to be uh, further away from the guardrail. That hasn't been improved. Oh, well, I see that. It's still improved, but still a little bit too close to my liking. Um, at least, no. I mean, when you look at the camera here, it actually isn't that bad. Um, it's just maybe my preference is to stay a little bit left. I don't like getting too close to the guardrail. So we're going to see how it does with this first turn here. If this 360 camera shows the correct angle, we'll see how close it gets. Oh, yep, yeah, I... Uh, I didn't like how close it got there. Um, go ahead and re-enable it here. Let's try and turn it down to 10 mile an hour around the curbs. It does, again, seem improved not getting too close to the side of the road. It is, um, unfortunately, it is on the wrong side of the road. Um, and there's, as you can see, there's traffic coming up. There's another car coming up the road. So the next time that happens, I'm gonna to have to disengage. Oh, it freaked out. It, this road makes it really un unconfident. Since there's no lines and it thinks it's a one one lane road, that it's, um, when a car passes by, it just doesn't have a good time. No? No, we want to stay on this side of the road. These are blind corners, and I don't think the car has x-ray vision. You can also figure out what's scraping here. Oh, as you can see, it got really close. And of course, now we're on the wrong side of the road here. Again, I think it thinks it's a single lane. Hopefully, we don't get a car... Well, yep, I'm going to go ahead... This is the correct side of the road. So this is about, the only difference I could say we got comparatively, compared to the previous version so far, is that we don't get quite so close to the guardrail. The second problem is, it keeps on going to the wrong side of the road. It keeps on making the turn too wide. Oh, it, it fixed this. Um, it got too close to the side of the road, but the problem is now it's on the opposite side of the road. Since I don't have any cell signal, I can only press this camera button so many times. 
this is good. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that would see if every term was like that one, we'd be great. And this one, this that was great too. Yeah, that was really good. Let's up the speed to 15 here. Again, it should have ran over that. I sh really should probably should disengage. Uh, it circled so the okay. That's on the wrong side of the road of a blind turn. Can't have it do that. Not in this road, that's um, too risky. And also I have to, hate how I have to drop the speed. No one's gonna be going, oh, okay, except for that truck on the last video. No one's gonna be going this fast. Go um, well, then again, I might be going that fast. Um, but I would slow down more for the curves. As you can see, there's only so much, like the car's turning radius is only so good. Yeah, see it? It's, it's weird how it can't, it's not really sure right here. The car's turning radius is only so good. So, um, there's only so, yeah, see it? Because that truck just came around, we have to be on the far outside here for this to work. I'm gonna save. I think I pressed the camera three times already, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it uh, for the way back up, unless I get anything serious, because I think we can only record five camera buttons without cell single. Otherwise, it'll upload everything back to when I get back to my house. Okay, so this is where, this is the same spot in my first video where I thought it was a camera detecting. I was definitely looking forward here. I was looking direct forward and it still freaked out this exact spot. So there must be something about this spot right here that a car is just really not confident on. <laughs> nope, that wasn't good. And that will probably deserve a camera button. It was just stopped turning and decided to go straight. The thing about version 10 is that it has improved awareness of the road. Um, this road is just very difficult it seems. Again, we're on the wrong side of the road. I can see forward and that there's not a car coming. Uh, so it's not as critical. But around these blind curves, uh, it unless, of course, the camera's vision being up higher might affect that, being able to see further down the road than I can. <laughs> Turn on the blinker for something it doesn't need the blinker on. There's another mess up. So in terms of disengagements, it honestly seems worse going down the hill than it did last time, but it seems to be more uh, accurate in terms of, like, it sees the side of the road better, is what I'm trying to say. That being said, it doesn't stay on the correct side because it doesn't know this is a two-lane road. This is a mix of poor mapping and poor vision. Um, relatively speaking, poor vision as in it doesn't know this is two roads. We can see the seam in the asphalt. The car can't see that. Okay, so it made it through this bridge this time without airing out. Last time, this is where I was testing the vision, um, the camera for my attentiveness. And it could have been that, but also the bridge kind of freaked it out. I don't expect to really have any issues at this point. I think we're almost to our destination. This time going back up, I'm gonna re-navigate us back to the top. Last time I didn't put in navigation. So that might be why it had issues, um, additional issues. It just gave up last time. So we're gonna see if it gives up on the way back up. See how far it can get at the speed limit. Okay, so it 
seemed like it was going to go into the side of the bridge. I'm not sure if that was the case, but obviously not taking any chances. Got too close for my comfort, basically. And we're taking over. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and record the camera button. Oh, there's a car behind me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, let it go by right here. testing as you can see how this car went up the edge let's see how we do no This is how I think the car should drive, right about this speed here. You're gonna slow down, you're gonna turn your way around. Now make a new turn to stay on the slipper track. Now get a ride onto a green river. A little bit fast actually if I had pass well I had my dog, but <laughs> if I had human passengers in the car. You know, my air pressure. But um, as you can see, we're keeping pace with that car up there. So this is like normal. I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable it. We have the best odds. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Onyx. Yeah, so... Um, be able to make that turn. It isn't freaking out as bad, though. It still can't make it up this hill. I don't like going around these blind curves. Like, this is good now. Obviously, we're going very, very slow. Giving it its best chance. You know, like this. I can't see a car around there. I know the car can't see a car right there. It needs to be way over here. Um, so it can get around this. And when it, the cameras ultimately do see a car, like a human would, when it comes in out of our blind spot, then it is already in the most safe spot it can be. And it, maybe it can have, you know, a couple extra inches of space to move over on the road there. But it, I'm not gonna, like, this is too dangerous on this road to not move all the way over and give maximum space. Ooh, I don't know if that was my tire that rubbed or the back of the, the, uh, freaked out again. I mean, it, it can see where they go. Maybe it's because up ahead it can't tell where they go. It's odd how it freaks out. And it could be it lost traction there. I'm not sure if it was a tire or if that actually scraped bottom. Um, I did scrape bottom on this on the first time I've ever gone on this road. I might have made that. I accidentally disengaged. But, um... If it was going sl slower, I want it to go slower around these curves. Hey, it made it. I think this might have been the first time it made it uphill on at least one of the steep right turns. The left turn it made it previously, but on the right turn it hadn't ever made it, I don't think. So, obviously an improvement. Um, baby improvements for this update, for sure. All has been two updates. Again, too unsafe for me. It needs to be over here on this side of the road. Um, that also gives maximum chance that the car coming down the hill sees me. If I'm on, the, on their side of the road, my nose isn't gonna stick out as far. So that means they won't see me as likely, and I've, it should be obvious how that's a problem. Um, they will have a much higher chance of hitting me and, or vice versa. Ooh, again, that's too close. That's, um, their wheel is at the very edge of that drop-off. 
I did not like that one bit. This is better. This is acceptable. It's still, it still could have been further on the right side. Still could have been further on the right side, but better. Oh. Yep, yeah, that one's too steep. Uh, yeah, I just need to slow it down. It needs to slow down more. Yeah, well, made it. Made it on this one. The key we're going to look for is that eventually it's going to make every one of these turns. Eventually. Yeah, nope, it wasn't going to turn. It flickers back and forth on the, the tentacle there. It just loses confidence. And I'm going to slow it back down. Still could be further right here. Hopefully they can use this training data to give a lot better, um, a lot better data in terms of curves, type curves. The, when you go into, um, um, Switzerland or anywhere in the Alps in Europe this is very commonplace up there you'll have switchbacks for days uh, I went through there right after high school on a trip and it was the, the mountain roads there were way crazier than they were here um, and so it's gonna have to do it to be able to do those roads like that's just that's level three like there's no reason like take over so the human can drive the mountain roads I'm like this isn't difficult right here at all. I think going through a city is much more difficult than this. But I guess we're, is this the top? I think it is. Yep, we're at the top. So everyone, this is the end of our Crazy Hill test. Um, I think it was improved over 9.2. Uh, Obviously, I'm still on the wrong side of the road right now. It can't tell. It looks like a single road from its perspective. It doesn't care. Um, but it really should know that we need to stay on the right side of the road. Correct. Huh. But yeah, um, everyone. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's uh, improved. Uh, it definitely sees the sides of the road better. That's improved. And it seems to be better going uphill. It didn't completely fail going up the mountain. So small baby improvements, improvements nonetheless. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, always, as always, put them down below, and I'll see you in the next video.